everyone! Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Today we are going to read On Beyond Bugs, all about insects. And this is a cat in the hat book. So this is written by Tish Rabe and it's illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. Let's look at the book! So on the cover we have the cat in the hat near a, a beehive. You know that when it's a cat in the hat book like this, we are going to learn lots of fun facts. I'm the cat in the hat, and I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects all around you. They live in the water, the earth, and the sky. Just wait, and you'll soon see an insect go by. There are millions of them. I will show you. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. <gasps> the cat in the hat comes with thing one and thing two. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and lay eggs. They have wings and can fly and all have six legs. So insects include the praying mantis, the butterfly, the ladybug, the grasshopper, the black ant. But spiders aren't insects. This news couldn't wait. Instead of six legs, every spider has eight. If you look at an insect up close, you will see that its bodies in parts and each insect has three. First the head, then the thorax, and here at the end is the longest part, which is called the abdomen. A cricket, head, thorax, abdomen. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them, so they have two feelers to touch what's around them. An insect has feelers on top of its head. Some look a lot like a thin piece of thread, while others look much more like feathers instead. We wish we had feelers, but we don't have any. You can call feelers by this name, antennae. <laughs> Antennas, right? Look at the antennas. Or feelers. Feathery feelers. Thread-like feelers. Watch an insect and see all the things that it does. Some can swim. Diving beetle. Jump. Dog flea. Or crawl. Pipe vine caterpillar. Others chirp. The cricket. Flash. The firefly. Or buzz. The bumblebee. Birds and frogs look for insects in order to eat them. So insects work hard to make sure they don't meet them. Some like this wasp have bright colors that say, don't come near me, I'll sting you, so just stay away. This moth's wings are colored to look like the tree it is resting upon so that no one can see. An underwing moth, this is called camouflaging, right? This spittle bug sits and he spits out a bubble. It's wet and it's cool and can save him from trouble. For when he's all covered in bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, it thinks nobody's home. Here is a riddle I learned from my mother. How's a skunk? and a ladybug like one another. Huh? How are these similar? When danger is near, it's easy to tell. They suddenly give off 
A terrible smell. Stinky. These busy insects are my friends, the ants. They like to eat seeds, other insects, and plants. Ants are so strong, they can lift things that weigh over 10 times their weight, and they do it all day. 10 times their weight, they can move things 10 times heavier than themselves. So if you were as strong as an ant, you would see, you could lift up 10 cats in tall hats easily. Darn, I wish I was as strong as an ant. Watch these honeybees, and I'm sure you will agree that these bees are as busy as busy can be. Worker bees collect food and they keep the hive clean. They protect it from danger and wait on their queen. She must stay in one place. It is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and starts dancing around. First she wiggles, then wags in circles, and so all the other bees know which direction to go. So bees, they don't talk like you and me, right? But they dance in these certain movements and they tell the other bees where the food is. How awesome. We can grow lots of flowers with the help from the bees. They store dust from each flower in back of their knees. Oh, you see? The pollen, the powder, the dust is stuck to the bees. This dust is called pollen. Next flower they find. When they land on it, they leave some pollen behind. So this golden dust travels from flower to flower to flower. This is called pollination, and it makes the new seeds that grow even more flowers, which everyone needs. Some insects I know can be unwanted guests. Fleas, flies, and mosquitoes can really be pests. Fleas live on cats, dogs, rats, hamsters, and mice. Their bite is quite itchy, which isn't too nice. But they're wonderful jumpers. Why, if we were fleas, we'd jump over a house and we'd do it with ease. Oh, I wish I was as strong as an ant and as jumpy as a flea. Hmm. Have you ever wondered why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings fast, and each time that it does, its wings make a sound that you can hear in your ear, and this sound lets you know there's a fly flying near. Here's a fact about flies that we both thought was icky. They can walk upside down on your ceiling since their feet are so sticky. I don't think mosquitoes are very polite. When they're hungry, they land, and they sting when they bite. But it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bothering you. Caterpillars do something you might think is strange. They start out as one thing, then one day they change. They spin a small house on a branch just like this, and this home that they make is called a chrysalis. If you watch it, you'll see when a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new butterfly. Wow! So, here's a quick fact that we both thought was neat, 
Butterflies can taste their food with their feet. If we tasted food with our feet, we would just step on the food, right? We wouldn't even put it maybe in our mouths. On warm summer evenings, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off on in the night. These are like tiny flashlights that flow in the sky. If you want to catch them, it's all right to try. Use a jar with the lid, watch them glimmer and glow. Then open the jar up and let them all go. Don't keep them inside, right? That's not kind. All day and all night, on the ground, in the air, insects are moving around everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. The world that we know couldn't go on without them. This world, it couldn't really exist without insects. The butterfly, ladybug, ant, and the bee make everything better for you and for me. And that, you guys, is the end of our book over here. Ah, I love the Cat in the Hat books. I love how they rhyme and they teach us so many cool facts. I hope you learned some new things here. This is called On Beyond Bugs, all about insects by Tish Rabe, and it's illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. Thank you.